Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be discussing how you can pass the Praxis 2 Math 5003. I've been on term break for quite a while so that I can pass the Praxis 2 series. I have completed the first exam and I will link that down below if you're interested to view it. And now the second exam. I would like to share what this exam is all about, my strategies and tips for passing. Before I get started though, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. So Praxis 5003 is the math portion of the Praxis 2 um, exam. It's mostly for elementary teachers, but check with your state's requirements. As I stated in previous videos, you can take the Praxis 2 series all at once, but I don't recommend that you do this. Um, it's really best to kind of take them separately so that you can really focus on your skills and you're better prepared to take each one. There's 50 questions in 60 minutes. You have selected response questions. Um, this does include multiple choice. Um, a drop down menu, some check boxes like select two or select three or select all that apply. Um, and you do have some numeric entry questions where you basically have to enter in a number. There is an on screen calculator. It's more of like a scientific calculator. So I was a bit surprised to see that there was just uh, more of a basic one. Um, I didn't really use the calculator as often. I only used it for large numbers. So I recommend that you use the calculator only when absolutely necessary. Um, the three categories for this exam, they have numbers and op operations, algebraic thinking, and then geometry, measurement, and statistics. Unfortunately, there is no um, formula sheet for this exam. I believe there was one for the Praxis Core Math but there is none available for this exam. Um, I think though, if they were to give you like a problem that included a formula, um, then they would give it to you. Um, but I do recommend that you kind of already have some formulas already memorized and ready to go just in case for this exam. So the concepts that you really need to know for this math exam, but also for when you become a teacher, Praxis 5003 will test your ability on fractions, percents, decimals, geometry, measurement, equations and expressions and the difference between the two of them, operations, so things like uh, multiplication, division, subtraction, addition, um, and also PEMDAS, so order of operations as well, ratios, rates, proportions, measures of center, um, You've got a coordinate plane, probability, lots of word problems, place value, scientific notation, and expanded notation. And these are all the concepts that I saw in the exam and the concepts that I used to study for the exam that I highly recommend that you focus on. So the strategies that I highly recommend that you use to pass is to teach to an empty room. Um, this really gets you prepared for when you have to teach to a room full of actual students. Use worksheets to practice daily. I actually made my own and I will link it down below if you're interested in using that. Um, and I will also link below the websites that I use to find other worksheets for various uh, concepts as well. Watch videos. Um, I have a free video playlist down below as well that also includes some free webinars. Create and pl uh, practice flashcards. And the flashcards that I use for this, I mostly wrote down things for like vocabulary, some concepts, uh, processes to solve certain problems, things like that. If you prefer your flashcards to be um, handmade, actually writing it out, whatever works for you. I just use Quizlet um, and it seemed to work pretty fine for me. Take a practice test um, every day or every other day until you're ready to take the exam. The questions that you miss, use extra time to watch videos, um, practice some problems on concepts that you kind of missed. So while you take a practice exam, um, maybe in the morning or something in the afternoon kind of review really, really helps. And then last but not least, apply it to your classroom. So find math supplies that you could use to teach certain subjects, watch teacher observation videos with particular concepts or just math in general, and think about how you can apply teaching math to your future students. 
You should receive your unofficial score on the same day. It is important that you report your scores to um, your university. So if you're a WG student, make sure it's on there and your local state agency. Um, they will make sure that it's already on there when you register for the test. And at the end of the test, they will ask if you want to report your scores. Um, and you'll have to click that button twice. So make sure you click the report scores button. That is very vital. <laughs> um, your official scores shouldn't really change too much. Um, it should be available within about a week. Um, there's a link below um, that will give you an estimated date from the Praxis ETS website that they've just started recommending um, people to use. And I actually used it for me as well. So I highly recommend that you use that if you want a more um, viable date for when you can see your official score. Resources. So I will post below those free practice tests that you can use, in addition, those free worksheets that I mentioned as well. There's also a free study plan template that can be used to plan your studying. I highly recommend that you kind of invest in yourself and your time, whether that's using the Kathleen Jasper test prep book, study.com or tutoring 240. I will link those all down below and how much they kind of cost. And I also have a free video playlist um, that'll give you an idea of what's on there as well. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. I really hope this proves to be helpful for you as you begin studying for the Math Praxis 5003. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. See everyone again soon. Bye guys.